Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world. One electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. Follow me on X. And if you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, please use my referral code. All the uh, links are below. And it is January 24th. It's around 7 p.m. Eastern time. I just finished listening to the uh, Tesla earning call. It is not easy to go through. This. Some parts are really... Uh, really tough to listen. Anyway, uh, if you are uh, if you are a short term Tesla investor you're looking for like an opportunity to make uh, quick money, uh, you probably didn't like that call. But if you are a long term investor, that would be me. You love this call. So uh, like I always do, I I do not go line by line and how much they made and and this and that. I like to look to look at uh, uh, the big picture, and that is to me the trajectory, the long term trajectory of Tesla is incredible, and that's why I've been investing in Tesla for so many years, and I did not sell one share, and I always buy. Now I'm not telling anybody what to do uh, at all. You can do whatever you want, but it is this is the trajectory so here's the highlights of what the call was 560,000 uh, teslas were produced in california which is amazing that if a car factory in california okay car factory in california in san francisco it has pre production ability and capacity of more or, or the highest of any car manufacturer in the United States. No car manufacturer, no car factory, no car factory in the United States can produce more car than, uh, than, the, than uh, the California plant. And to think that this place was a dump, the, um, the uh, area was run down and also the factory itself, the factory itself was bought by Tesla from, from GM and then Toyota. Anyway, long story short, to make it this this big is great. Now, it leads to this, if you look at this chart, uh, this is the capacity. So you have less, a little bit less than a million in Shanghai, 375 in Berlin, 250 mile-wise in um, Texas, and 125 of Cybertruck. This so was about 2 million, uh, 2 million uh, cars in capacity, which means Tesla sold, delivered, that's what we care, delivered uh, a, a 1.8 million, a little bit more than 1.8 million, meaning the growth for next year, if everybody, all hands on deck and everybody, all the factories produce and there is no interruption, there's no crisis and there's no nothing, Tesla will get to 2 million, maybe 2.1 million. So the growth will be lower percentage wise the next year in into this year. Now, the next thing, uh, that they talked about, and this is really mind boggling that we knew that, but now we have a number. Model Y out of the 1.8 million plus cars that Tesla sold, 1.2 million were just Model Y. So obviously it's the overwhelming majority and it is the best selling car in the world. A, it's an electric car. So any electric car that is sold the best is just amazing. But not only that, it is a very, it's not a cheap car compared to other cars that are around. This is not a cheap car at all. And yet they, uh, they sold the, the most, uh, uh, in 2023. So that's incredible. Energy business grew 15 uh, gigawatt hours of uh, packs of mega packs or uh, storage. That is, that is not, that should be taken for granted. That is amazing. The next one is an interesting one and we will make videos individually on each of these subjects, but the V12 uh, FSD uh, is released now mostly to uh, workers of Tesla and some individuals. Some of them are already posting video of the V12. It will be uh, be available for all 400,000 um, uh, cars uh, that have FSD in the United States, actually in North America, we can, can get it in Canada as well. And it will be available in the next few weeks, which is really, really incredible. And we will make videos this. Once I get it, we'll make a video on this. I have two Teslas that have this capability. So we will do that. But I, I, I want to say that <clears throat> what's to me uh, the most incredible thing is that it's a complete and total different architecture and approach to a uh, full self driving. But we're not, to we're not going to expand on it right now. We'll expand on it when it comes to, to my hand and we'll talk, we'll talk about that. Now, the Model 3, uh, re refresh Model 3 is now available all around the world, all around the world. And the, um, uh, 
the new model, so this, it took a bulk of the time, new model, the new platform is to be released probably in the middle of 2025. Now there will be an event, uh, don't try to guess what it's gonna look like, nobody knows. Every Tesla car that was a, that was going to be released, I remember the Model S and the Model X and the Model 3 and the Model Y and the Cybertruck, everybody had rendering, everybody was wrong. So nobody knows how it's gonna look like. I think it's probably gonna look like, uh, based on the Cybertruck uh, platform, I, I think so. It is going to be produced in Texas, well that, it's a big hint. And then once the manufacturing and the entire platform is ready, then it will be copied and duplicated uh, in other places. Thus, hence, the factory in Mexico is going to uh, is going to wait until this is uh, uh, refined and, and ready to go. Uh, so that is another huge topic of what it's going to look like. It's going to be very very interesting. Interesting that I that that is. Very good news, I think, that 90% of all the 1.8 million cars that were sold this year for, were for new customers. People who never had a Tesla before. Now, I bought a, a Tesla, I leased a Tesla this year, but I'm on my fifth Tesla already, so I don't count. But 90% of the Tesla sold this year were for new customers. You know what happened? People who buy Teslas usually buy another one after. Okay, they usually don't go back to anything else. Now, as far as the Cybertruck, the four, the 4680 batteries, there is enough batteries to go for all the Cybertruck, the all 125,000 Cybertruck that the factory in Tesla can make. So if there's, there are enough batteries, if they make it, they will sell, they will be installed. So there's no shortage of batteries. But, but also, uh, Elon Musk said that all the, uh, the uh, 2024 uh, Tesla Cybertruck that can be made already sold out, meaning they make it, they will deliver it. Now, is it going to be just a foundation series, which are so more, so much more expensive? It's crazy to buy that, to pay for that one. That's insane. Or is it going to be uh, delivered to regular people like me or at uh, the first night? Now, then another question was asked, if you remember, Elon Musk had a tweet that he need to have 25% a, a stake in Tesla in order for him to continue to develop AI product. And I, you know, I, you will think, ah, Elon Musk is crazy. It's unpredictable. He just want to be f control free. It, it just, 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 that's what he does. And he explained it and it made a little bit more sense. He said that he wants to have more influence from all kinds of uh, Trojan horse infer infiltrators. That's basically what it is. So, uh, don't, he, he, he wants, he doesn't want to have total control, that's crazy. But you want to have enough influence and 25% is enough influence to what he uh, uh, what he wants to do with AI in a way that is going to be good and productive. Because remember, uh, 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 Tesla, Tesla produce robots on wheels and they will produce robots, you know, humanoids. So it is it, it starting to make sense why he wants to have this much control so he can have great influence on how uh, AI in the future for Tesla is uh, going to be. Uh, FSD licensing, I thought this would have been much faster, much, much ahead. He said that there were discussions, but he really encourages every uh, OEM to uh, adapt the FSD, uh, you know, camera system and hardware and all that. And I think that eventually that they will. And I, how, how do I know? Very simple. Everybody made fun of the Tesla superchargers few, 10 years ago. Eh, it's such a stupid idea. Well, guess what? Every car manufacturer who sells a, a EVs in the United States, they are all, with no exception, are going to be using the Tesla, a, 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 you know, North American standard a, 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 this year. Do, do via adapters and next year the, the, the plug is going to look exactly like the Tesla. So that was a total victory and capitulation and FSD uh, licensing will be uh, the next one. As far as the humanoid robot, maybe next year there will be some units starting to sell. Maybe next year, but there may be an AI day again to see if uh, maybe an update, but uh, this will be uh, probably uh, starting to some kind of uh, next year. Also, interesting that Tesla is doing targeted digital marketing. In Texas, they did. Reached, uh, I think, 10 million people. And with tremendous increase in the, visiting their website in Japan also to do brand awareness, brand awareness. Also, Tesla talked about uh, 
continue to reduce cost. Now, one thing about the next gen vehicle, one thing about the next gen vehicle that was very interesting is that the, the, the revolutionary, the revolution of it, will it be $25,000? I don't know. The revolution of it is the manufacturing, not just how it looks like and how it's going to drive. It's the manufacturing of it. Basically, think about the Lego. If you didn't read uh, uh, Walter Isaacson's biography on Elon Musk, please do. You're going to learn so much. But it's basically, think about the Lego that is just, it produced in one piece. Basically, it will be a two, three piece car. Uh, it will be a, an incredibly uh, uh, advanced engineering that the, that humanity never seen in manufacturing cars. And the last subject we talked about was China. And uh, China is the kings of EV. That's it. If there are no like tariffs, barriers and all kinds of for example, the United, in the United States, there's a, a China EVs, BYD, uh, Geely, Zikr, and many others will just demolish every single OEM in the world, except for Tesla. You remember Tesla, he's producing half of their cars in China. So the Chinese, and I see it in Israel, BYD is the number one car sold in Israel among all cars, including EVs. It's not surprising at all. They got it. They know what to do. So that these are the highlights. It's very, very encouraging news for the future. If you're a long-term investment like I am, this is great news. If you're short-term, you say, ah, they're not going to sell so many more cars this year than this year than last year. But it's just, it's just a little bump. I don't care about that. That, that. That's not important. What the future is, is more important. Thank you guys for watching. See my next video.